at Six Flags Over Texas, fun is a mile a minute experience for the entire family. Situated between Dallas and Fort Worth on 140 acres of former ranch land where Longhorns once grazed is eight-year-old Six Flags Over Texas. This family entertainment center is rated as the state's most popular attraction by the Texas Tourist Development Agency. One of the reasons for the park's popularity, rides such as the Runaway Mine Train, a million dollar original development by Six Flags. Excitement builds as guests ride 38 feet per second and the climax is a rapid descent underwater in a tunnel. In the entrance mall, Six Flags represent the colorful heritage of the state. And since oil played such an important role, the skyhook gives visitors a view from 155 feet in the air of a typical early day oil settlement. A calliope on the carousel supplies going up music. In modern USA, what would be more appropriate than a ride named the Jet Set, where guests fly their own planes? Sparkling new for the 1968 season is the Croft Puppet Theater, which must be seen to be believed, as the performers are so realistic. 1,200 persons can enjoy the sophisticated production during each of its regularly scheduled performances. Of course, Texas was once Indian country, thus the theme of the Caddo River Canoe Ride, where superbly coordinated crews of happy guests navigate the treacherous waters. Nowhere has a bank been robbed more frequently than at Six Flags. And it's a proud tradition that the good guys always catch the bad guys. It's also tradition that Crazy Horse Saloon entertainers are always talented college students and that only soft drinks are served in this establishment. These colorful antique cars are two-thirds scale models of automobiles that were built in a Texas factory in 1911. The cars were named Chaparral for the native Texas bird, the Road Runner. Authentic narrow gauge trains that were built in the late 1800s carry guests on an excursion around the giant park. This is just one of 85 rides, shows, and attractions that operate when Six Flags is open. In 1968, the park will open for the season on April 13th for weekends only until May 25th, when daily operations begin. After Labor Day, the operation goes back to weekends only until the season closes on December 1st. But whatever the season, spring, summer, or fall, the scenery is breathtaking from the Astro Lift cars that glide 55 feet above the park. In the modern USA area, transportation is more up to date and drivers don't even have to have licenses. A delightful area for children and parents too is the Animal Kingdom where there are animals galore, both rare and domestic. Petting of the cuddly animals is supervised by the collegiate hosts and hostesses. Representing the French influence on Texas is the suspenseful La Salle Riverboat Journey, which takes passengers safely through the lifelike animations that border the Six Flags version of the La Vaca River. This ride is one example of the park's unique one-price ticket policy. One ticket purchased at the entrance to Six Flags entitles the visitor to free main gate admission and allows him to ride all the rides as often as he wishes, to visit all the attractions and exhibits, and see all the shows as often as he desires. The park is located just off the Dallas-Fort Worth Turnpike, and it's only a 15-minute drive to either city. Cotton was a mainstay in Texas economy during its Confederate era, and cotton barges that transport guests to Skull Island are reminiscent of that period. The island was named for this rock, and visitors soon find that the theme of this area is join in the fun and participate. There are bridges to cross, slides to zip down, tree houses to climb into, caves to explore, and when you get ready, the barge will take you back to the mainland. There you can board an Indian bull boat and enjoy a serene and relaxing ride through the Spelunker Cave, where the jolly little animations entertain guests by cavorting and playing in their own unique way. Six Flags is the only place in the world that this particular type of Spelunker is found. Shows starring outstanding college talent are staged in the new music hall on a regular schedule when the park is open. Before 1836, Texas was a part of Mexico. 
In the Mexican area of Six Flags, there's no time for siestas as the gay fiesta train pulls out of the station. On both sides of the tracks are all new animations for 1968, representing Texas' good neighbor to the south. For a dizzy experience, simply visit Casa Magnetica, where strange things happen to gravity. At Six Flags, adventure is exciting and history is delighting, especially aboard the log flume ride. The Spanish flag once waved over the Lone Star State, and this area is devoted to Spain. Guests ride in realistic fiberglass logs, propelled only by water, rushing through the flume. To climax the ride, guests make a rapid, splashing 45-degree dive down a 44-foot high flume. Six Flags Over Texas is a big family fun land where there's enjoyment unlimited for all. Over two million guests proved it last year. <laughs>